Hi everyone, welcome once again. I have a very good example for you today and it is about images. So suppose you have many images and uh, you want to distribute them to different subfolders based on the image size. So you see I have couple of images which you see are very big and these images are very small. So I'm talking about the resolution of images. Okay. So uh, there are three images which I have used uh, which I titled as big and for that I created a folder named as big and the other ones are small ones uh, I created a folder named as tiny for them so I want to move those three there alright and uh, this approach should work for n number of images if you have thousands of images it should automatically do alright so let us see the magic if I click on this button it asks me for the folder when I select the folder and uh, I just click on ok uh, remember that uh, subfolders need to be there uh, it automatically finds all the file inside that it captures the resolution and then it marks the status whether they are moved or not so if we go to that folder we can see here the images are actually moved inside so the tiny ones move to tiny folder the big ones move to the big folder all right so if this sounds interesting to you so keep watching the video and we will be creating this from the scratch so the first thing is after opening VB editor you need to create a sub procedure I have named it as move files and then uh, you need to deal with files and folders so I am declaring file and folder both as object I use the name fil for file and fldr as folder after the declaration you need to create the file system object to deal with the files and folders so for that we use the keyword set set fso equals create object it is a keyword uh, which we use to create the object and then inside that we can mention scripting dot file system object next uh, when we clicked on the magic button it opened the file selector dialog so for that we will be needing a shell object so let us declare that first so dim sh obj as object and then let us uh, create this object using set keyword so set sh obj equals create object shell dot application after this we need to add a with block so with application dot file dialog this is we are doing for uh, opening that dialog where we can choose the folder and then we can perform operation okay so in the brackets we can use mso file dialog folder picker so it will allow us to select a folder in that and uh, then we can end it with end with inside this we can set the title for that dialog so if we run it from here it will show up the title on the dialog okay so that is about the title next we need to add here one condition that if dot show then and we end this if block and inside that we can do set folder equals shell object dot namespace and in brackets we can use dot selected items one so the first selected folder would be given to this folder object and we can write this path on sheet as well so c3 is the cell where we are keeping the path so sheet dot cells 3 comma 3 dot value equals folder dot self dot path okay now after this we need to iterate through all the files of that folder okay so all the files for that folder would be the items inside that folder okay so for that we are adding a for loop so for each fil which is the file object in folder which is our folder object dot items okay so it will iterate through all the items of that file and we end this for loop with next now what we need to do actually is we need to list down all the files in the sheet one by one we need to write their resolution and we need to move those to the desired folders and then we need to mark the status okay so first of all let us know what is the last available row where we can write down the file so in the column 2 so lr equals sh dot cells rows dot count comma 2 dot end excel up dot row plus one so that will give me the last available row where i can write down the file name now one tricky part is that uh, a folder can have a subfolder also okay so i do not want to do anything with subfolders but i just want to do with the files 
Okay, so I add a check here that if in string file dot name fil dot name comma uh, and in double quotes I can put a dot here. That means uh, because all the files would have extension but folder won't have. So file names would always have dot. Okay, so if it is true in that case I want to write the name here and I want to do further processing. Otherwise I, I just want to ignore that. Okay, so now let us write the file name in sh dot cells lr comma two dot value. Lr is that row where uh, we have the blank row in the second column, and uh, this would be the row where we are going to write, and the name of the file would be fil dot name. So we are using sh as sheet object, and similarly we can get resolution also. So resolve uh, this is the variable name that I'm taking for resolution equals uh, for resolution we need to use folder object so fldr dot get details of fil object which is the file object comma 31 for the resolution okay so one thing we have missed is uh, we are using this sh as sheet object but we have never uh, defined it so on top we need to define it that set sh equals sheets and then the name of the sheet Now the value of this resolution if we check in the watch it will be having these extra question marks uh, in the beginning and in the end and if you try to replace them it won't replace I don't know which type of special character it is. So here I am using the mid function to extract only the information that I need alright. So once I extract it using that mid function I am putting it into the cell corresponding to the cell where we have kept the name. So sh dot cells lr comma three dot value equals resolution. Now since we want to put some conditions on the resolutions, we want to extract the length and height also. So I use the variable xl and xh for length and height, and uh, that I am using uh, simply the split function uh, for. Uh, extracting the first part and the second part after this x symbol which we are having in the resolution and then I am trimming it also alright. So this is how I am able to get the length and height. Now uh, I have it in the variables now I can simply put the conditions that if length is greater than this or less than this then move it to this folder or otherwise do that something like that that I can build. Okay so let us put the condition so if I'm converting this value into integer so for that I'm using c int function. So if c int of x1 is less than or equal to 100 and c int of xh is less than or equal to 100 then move it to somewhere where I will be mentioning here. Otherwise I put this else and then I end this if statement with and if okay. So now we need to put the statements inside this if and else. So when the resolution is smaller than 100, 100, I want to move it to tiny folder. So for that, I use the file system object once again. So FSO dot move file. I need to give the source and destination here. So source would be FLDR dot self dot path. Uh, this would be the folder path. And I need to concatenate the file name here. So M percent. And then uh, you see we are not having this slash after the path. So I need to insert this additional slash and then ampersand I need to give the file name. So fil dot name. So this is my source. Now I want to move this file to another folder which is inside the same directory. So destination colon equals again I need to use fldr dot self dot path and after that ampersand now here I can specify the subfolder. So I will be using slash tiny slash and then after that ampersand file dot name. So this will be moving my file from the main folder to that subfolder which I have created. Now just in case we are having any error while movement of file from one folder to other we are catching it here. So first of all we need to put that on error resume next and here we need to add a block that if error dot number is not equal to zero in that case clear that error and move ahead. Otherwise, uh, what you can do is you can mark the status as done. 
now similarly in the else block we can put the condition that if uh, uh, the condition is already there that if resolution falls uh, uh, in the upper range which is uh, greater than 100 100 in that case we need to add another statement fso dot move file to the other folder basically so i just copy that statement and i paste it here and i change that subfolder name after this we can clear the memory by saying set fldr equals nothing set fso equals nothing and set shell object equals nothing all right so this is how we'll be clearing off the memory and after everything we can put a message box stating it is done so now let us take a run for this and if i run this sub procedure uh, it asks me to select the folder i choose that folder and if i click on ok it will be moving all the files we can check here uh, the big files are in big folder and the tiny ones are in the tiny one so that is all about this program if you have any questions uh, do not forget to write the comments and uh, uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see further such videos i'll see you in the next video